Mary, I'm telling you, this store shrock guy is omnipresent. <laughs> Uh, that may be a little exaggeration, but he has a radio show and appears with us weekly. And today he's bringing all over. to TV some of the topics and questions which have surfaced on the radio recently. Thor owns uh, Schrock Innovations. Good morning, Thor. Hey, guys. Nice how's it going? Let that lead in. I, well, you know, I'm, I'm never going to say that I'm omnipresent. But well, we don't, we don't mean to sort of <laughs> suggest that you are Christ-like. It was just sort of like you're everywhere. Just Nail You're everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, am, I Mary, back with, am I back with? <laughs> let's get some uh, get, get some viewer questions here. Uh, this one's from Mary. Mary called, saying, "Sometimes when I turn my computer on, the lights come on and the fan hums, but then it just turns off. Sometimes if I try again, I can get it to start. What's wrong with my computer?" All right. We get this question a lot on the radio programs. This is kind of weird. We're crossing the radio and the TV right. today. Two mediums. That, but I wow. like it because if she has the question, somebody else might have the problem in question. So oh, what was the answer? That's the case. Well, what, <laughs> usually what the problem is here is a power supply. That's the unit in the back of the computer that the power plug goes into. If it's a desktop, if it's a laptop, that's usually your power cord. It's off that brick on the mm -hmm. cord. Mm -hmm. That's your power supply. If that power supply is not putting out enough wattage, it's really rare that you get the, the pop and sizzle. You know, if you come into your room, you know, come into the, the, all your den or your office in the morning and you have that burnt coffee pot smell lingering in the room, your power supply just got zapped. Right. That that's doesn't happen very often. Usually they peter out over time. So that would explain the inconsistency that yeah. it's it, yeah, acting so it up has, one day and then fine the next. It has enough energy to put, turn the little LEDs on and spin that fan up, but not mm -hmm. enough energy to start the computer and make it work. Uh, in terms of cost to replace power supply? It's not terrible. It'll depend a little bit on what, uh, what kind of computer it is, if it's mm -hmm. a custom power supply or not. If you call up you know, Dell or HP and they tell you to unplug your computer, wait 30 seconds and plug it back in, that's a bad power supply. They're just trying to patch you through the warranty period. Can go for a power cord for a laptop around eighty dollars, all the way up to one hundred and fifty for a power supply. Okay, right. Kathy N. Also, I know was in touch with you recently, and here was her question: What is the difference between Norton three hundred and sixty and Secure Updater? Do I need both of them, or can I just get one? Yeah, we, we talk a lot about Norton three hundred and sixty on the TV show and the radio show. Mm -hmm. We also have talked about Secure Updater before, but they do two very different things. Norton 360 is antivirus and firewall put together that keeps your computer safe from known infections. The trouble is, if you don't keep all your third-party software up to date, your Adobe Flash, your Java, your Reader, uh, your Firefox, mm -hmm. Skype, all these things, if they don't stay up to date, what happens is you go out on Google and you type in a search, you go to a web page, and when you get to the page, you click on a result and you get automatically infected. And it just does an end run right around your antivirus because Norton thinks that this is, this is an authorized page. It's allowed to do what it wants to do. And the, the page launches a little, you don't even see it. It's like a little JavaScript that goes in the background and it checks your version of Java, which is a normal thing to do, just make sure you have Java installed. And if they detect that you have an outdated version, then they give you the virus. Well, if, it's a, if it's one. a valid version then, or a current version, then mm -hmm. they just don't do anything. So the and answer are, is yes, both. Yeah, are you yes. just, where are you seeing the most, most of the viruses come in? Through the, through that, the program? Almost all of it is third-party software. Now, antivirus is, the Norton 360 is such a good product. We actually warranty it for a year. If you get infected after you buy it from us, uh, we don't get anything from Semantic for, for doing this, but if you get infected, we fix it for free. The people who do end up coming in under warranty and getting mm -hmm. that stuff fixed, they, the, they usually get infected because their third-party software is out of date. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, this other question, uh, the next one, Margaret H., she had a question. She says, which is better, online backup or an external hard drive? And I think it's a great question. It's yeah. A, I mean, which mm -hmm. is better? Yeah, this, it depends on your perspective. Now, I'm not a big fan of the cloud. I'm not a big fan of storing everything online because, lo and behold, what's going to happen the one time you want to get to something, your Internet connection is going to be down. Um, or you won't be able to get a signal on your phone or whatever. I like to have my stuff stored where I, where I know where it's at, mm -hmm. where I can get to it, where no one else can get to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I'm not a big fan of the cloud, but I'll try not to let that color my answer. The, having a backup hard drive is, pr is great for backups on your computer. A lot of people who have Carbonite or iDrive or any of these other yes. ones that you hear advertised, they don't realize that, yeah, it's backing up all your files, but if you have an event that crashes your hard drive, you, you reinstall your operating system and then you download all these files. It could take two or three days to download your files right. and it doesn't replace your programs. So you, then you have to reinstall your office if you want your Word documents to open and well, stuff and like that. Well, and you can that. never find that 32-digit code, <laughs> code yeah. right? Where's that sticker that's but like this big? If you have an external hard drive, though, you can create backup images of your mm -hmm. hard drive. And then it's almost like a Mac Time. I know you're a big Mac uh, user. Time machine. Kind of yeah. like Time Machine. If you have a hard drive event, the hard drive crashes, we can just recover that image and it's like nothing ever happened. 
So there are some advantages to going with a backup, a, a local hard drive backup, as opposed to an online backup, mm -hmm. aside from Thor's paranoia. It probably, <laughs> exactly, but it de probably depends on your needs, too, because sometimes I forget to plug in the external hard drive, mm -hmm. And yep. then I don't back well, up. We forget data. about well, it a year so later. Small now. The, like, mm -hmm. I'll just get a little one that's a one terabyte drive, plug it in, and leave it. That's the thing with external hard drives. You can't jostle them yeah. or put, you know, set them on the floor behind the computer. Put them in the cords nest. Forget uh -huh. that they're there. Right. Uh, and then, when the one time when you need it, you've got it. All right, yeah. the next problem I want you to solve is what to do with all those cords because <laughs> our office at home is a mess, of course. All right, finally, a question from Eric, and he says, I had the Yellow Pages build my company a small website a few years back. I want to do something more with it. How can I get it back from the Yellow Page company? This is a good one. Uh, a lot of times, when you have the Yellow Page company build you a website, you own that website. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times people think, well, if I stop doing my Yellow Page advertising, which more and more businesses are deciding not to do Yellow Pages because it's becoming less and less effective, they're moving their marketing dollars to web because that's where the eyeballs are. Mm -hmm. and well, what ends up happening though is they say, oh, well, I have to go get a new domain. I have to get a new, you know, .com URL. You know, mm -hmm. so it, instead of, you know, Mike's garage.com, I have to get Mike's yeah, dash garage. Right. You got these two websites. That's not true at all. What we, we've done this for a number of clients where we will actually contact the Yellow Page company on your behalf. We know all the lingo, all the language. We know what they're allowed to do, what they're not allowed to do, and we can get that domain turned over to our control. Now, the, the catch here is the Yellow Pages designed the website for you, and they retain ownership of the website. So we can get the URL, the .com mm -hmm. back, yeah. but then we have to have a website to put there. We have, you have to build a new site to put there. But usually when people want to do that, it's because they're building a new site anyway. But yeah, you can it, do it that. Yeah, at yeah you can do all that. And usually yeah. those yellow page websites are not all that, they're, they're not template. real sophisticated. No, they're, they're template sites, yeah, brochures, basically out. a three-panel mm -hmm. brochure is what I would equate them to. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Um, Innovations.com is the website. And listen, guys, if you have any questions for Thor, post them on his Facebook page, or you can head to our page and post them there, and then sign up for Justin Bieber tickets while you're at it. Yeah, you no, see, I don't. see the promo? I, I, I shook my head. I was like, seriously, is that the target demographic for the show? Am I in yeah. the wrong show? No, no, no. We, want to, we want to talk <laughs> no. to their parents and their yeah. grandparents. When I see that, I'm not a big Biebs yeah. fan, and you can't win Justin Bieber tickets <laughs> on our Facebook Thor, page. I, that would be the shock of the day if, if you I came a, in and you were singing a Justin Bieber tune. <laughs> I don't I even know. I was over. like, I'd be, does he do that? Hilarious. I don't even think. Does he I don't do know. That? Does he touch his head? It's hard with the gas mask, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, coming. truck Shock. innovation. Go, Mike. Oh, that's all right. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Uh, three locations: one in Village Point, another at Papillion, it. another in Lincoln. Online at truckinnovations.com. You can do it, though. I can do it. Baby, yeah, you can right do there. some ba baby, baby, baby. It's really easy to remember. It's just repeating just baby, that. Baby, 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 all that's over again. Yeah, well, don't yeah, don't do it full out. We might have to pay some sort of right to the song, but <laughs> I don't thank know you. The song. <laughs> for, coming for. Yes, a puppy and flowers. What's not to love about our morning blend picture of the day? Yeah, and see what we're working on for tomorrow. That's also after the break. You want a cupcake? After he sings. Oh, I better not. No.